Hi guys and welcome to the True Golf Academy. You've joined me, John Watts, today at the beautiful Forest of Arden on a lovely summer's morning. And what I'm going to be filming a video on today is following a, a question I got from a previous video. And the question was from someone who online goes by Fairway Jack. Thanks for the question. Thanks for sending it in. It's a great one. And he asked, what is meant by covering the golf ball? And it's a term that gets uh, sort of used quite commonly, but what does it really mean? What relation does that have to the golf swing? And I'm going to dive into that now for you. So really, in, for me, covering the ball is really about where our center is. I see a lot of golfers where their sternum, which is really uh, classed as our center of the swing here, is actually falling back behind the golf ball, meaning the low point would occur before impact. That's either gonna mean heavy contacts or where the club is actually swinging more up on the ball. Now, I wanna jump onto a couple of reasons why I see this happening. So one of the main ones for me, from the top of the backswing position here would be where I start to see the hips sliding towards the target and often that's causing the upper body, the head, to be tilting away from the target. When that happens, you'll see that my sternum location becomes behind the golf ball and again that's going to give us this inconsistency of strike where we're often getting contact before the golf ball or again as I said striking up on the golf ball so one of the key points here for me would be at impact we're looking for our sterns to be more over the top of the golf ball if you like covering the golf ball the second part for me would also be about maintaining our spine angle so what I see with a lot of golfers on the downswing is this early extension move where they're really coming up and out of posture. We see the pelvis pushing forwards towards the golf ball. Often the reaction for that is the head to move away from the golf ball. So we see this move here where again, it's really not gonna look like I'm covering the golf ball or compressing the golf ball from here. It tends to be a lot of hands and arms action to try and square the club face. What we see with most elite golfers is whatever spine angle they're starting at, we actually see the spine angle changing and actually moving towards the golf ball on the downswing, whereas with a lot of amateur golfers, we see the fault of actually the spine rising. So the two parts for me when we're talking about someone covering the golf ball effectively, the first part would be trying to maintain spine angle on the downswing. And the second part would be trying to actually get their sternum more over the top of the golf ball by the time we get to impact. So I've got two exercises for you. One is going to be really maintain the posture on the downswing. And one is going to be feeling this sternum over the top of the golf ball to feel the correct impact position where the pressure is really moved into my lead heel. So the first one I want you to do for maintaining posture is set up to the golf ball, gripping it at full length. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slide the club down the handle so I've got a good three inches at the end of the grip. I'm gonna start with the club hovered above the top of the golf ball and what I want to try and do is swing and make contact with that golf ball. We could start off by just doing it with the ground. And that's really getting me over exaggerating this movement where I'm actually increasing my spine angle on the downswing rather than coming up and out of the shot. Let's give it a go. When you do this, I wouldn't worry about a heavy shot. What we're not trying to get is obviously thin contacts. So gripping it at full length, sliding the club through your hands so it's hovered above the top of the golf ball and just trying to make some contact there. So I'm really happy with that strike. Hopefully you can see on video there, I got ball and I got turf contact after impact. It's exactly what I'm looking for. But as I said, when doing that exercise, even if it was a little heavy, it's not the end of the world. The second exercise I'm gonna get you to do is actually just trying to do a little short swing, trying to really get this feeling that our sternum is over the top of the golf ball into impact and the pressure is moving really into that lead heel. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna set up to the golf ball. You can make a full backswing, but I want you to stop at what we call last parallel here, just pre-impact. And what I'm gonna get you to do is just pump that club a couple of times, 
and really work into impact, feeling that my nose, my sternum is more over the top of the golf ball and I can really feel that pressure into my lead side, into my lead heel. So let's set up, top of the backswing, pre-impact here and I'm just going to pump the club a couple of times and move really into that lead side. You can see from this camera position that I'm very much on top of the golf ball, not behind it this way. So let's do one of those. One, two, three. And again, I've really got that feeling. I'm very much on top of the golf ball, covering the golf ball. My pressure is definitely into this lead heel. And again, ball turf contact that we're really looking for. I hope that video's helped. Give those exercises a go. Post some comments and questions below to let me know how you're getting on with those. If you did enjoy the content of the video, give us a thumbs up and do subscribe to the channel for all the other content Monday, Wednesday and Friday at 5.30. Thanks guys, we'll see you soon.